Good morning to all. I am deeply honored to join you today. My name is Amin Alami, and it's my privilege to present my research paper titled Explainability in CNN Buzzed the Planning Models for Medical Image Classification. I would like to express my sincere, my sincere appreciation to the organizer of, the, of this conference. Thank you for your attention and let us come on. This is the outline. Firstly, I will provide a brief introduction to the topic of my research. Following that, I'll discuss your explainability method used, used in this paper. Next, I will outline the material and method employed in the study. This will include the data description, the deep learning model, and visualization result. And finally, I'll conclude by a comparative study and conclusion. So, deep learning techniques have improved the efficiency of decision making in different areas. However, in the case of the presence of uncertainties in the data or in the environment, decision making requires the explainability of the model, especially for high stake decision making, such as medical image, medical image analysis area. Our paper focuses on medical image classification, CNN based deep learning model and aims to apply and compare three popular explainability AI approach. Lean, shape, and graph, and graph count. This paper presents a, simula a, simulation, a simulation result on schist X-ray image pneumonia, or normal, and Alzheimer MRA dataset for disease, for disease detection, and show that the graph count method seems to outperform out lean and shape and able to improve the inter Interpretability of deep learning model identify automatically the most important features contributing to the model's decision. We have here the explainability method that we used. First, SLIM. SLIM means local interpretable model agnostic explanation. The second is shape, shapely additive explanation, and the third one is gradcam, means gradient weighted class activation. Mapping. For the material and user method, this is the overview of the material and method that uh, I will use in my study. First, the dataset collection, then pre-processing and training procedure, model architecture, and finally the XAI technique means the lean and shape and graph. Now, this is the dataset that I used. The first one, chest X-ray image means pneumonia dataset, it's, uh, it's have uh, two categories, pneumonia or normal. The second is Alzheimer MRI dataset, it contains uh, four uh, categories, moderate impairment, mild impairment, very mild impairment, and or no impairment. Here we are the tip linear model that, uh, that I used. For the deep learning model, we use CNN that compromised 10, 10 convolutional layers, 5 max polynomial layers, 1 flattering layer, and finally 1 dense layer for XRI data and 4 dense layer for brain MRE dataset because it's contained uh, for uh, output. Now we have here uh, the overall follow diagram of our study. We put first, we put an input image to our CNN model to predict the category if it's a normal or a pneumonia. Then we explain the result by limb or shape or diagram. Limb or shape or diagram, like a result by XAI model. Then we go on to the user. The first one, we have a simulation and visualization, and visualization result. After training the model at least 10 epochs, we attend training and testing accuracy exceeding 19%. One, we have here the result of a, we have the or result of a pneumonia and normal classification. We can see the super pixel red that had the most positive and negative impacts on the Sorry for the connection. So we have here 
after training the model, we get those results. First, we can see the super pixel region that had the most positive and negative impact on the prediction. The region that contributes positively in green, while the negatively are in red. We have here the sunless heat map of a new mania imagine using green. Then, here we have shape. Shape is a, a color bar in which red indicates significance, significant region of the image, while blue area indicates the absence of significant feature. Here the grad cam. For grad cam, also with a color bar in which red indicates the region where the classifier focuses the most, followed by orange, yellow, and green. Then the blue one indicates in the region where it's focused, it's focused the least. For the two, for Alzheimer MRE dataset, we use the same technique above to generate, to generate explanation, and this is the result for lean visualization and Gradcam visualization. We have the same technique, we have the same response. So here we have a shape visualization. We clearly see that shape outperform will uh, explain much better the classification for minute impairment with the red area and, uh, and uh, the blue area and uh, finally we generate a comparative, a comparative study so the first one are the technique used can be easy to implement can easy to implement the respective python level is not that the uh, the implement, implementation of the Gradcam and the shape are faster than, the, than that of Lean. The three methods present their results visually in a simple and comprehensive form using a color palette. Lean employs only two colors, green or, green or red, highlighting either strictly positive or negative contribution. For shape, use various shades of these two colors, adding a higher level of expressiveness to the interview. So to interpretation for Gradcam, a red to blue color scar is used. We can only see which three the heat maps generated by Gradcam or shape are better are better than contours generated by Lim as heat map can localize the region better. The Gradcam visualization for brain MA provide us with some good insights into important region to identify Alzheimer's disease. In its various form, we clearly found that the Gradcam to be one of the most effective techniques to visually explain deep learning based image classifier without presenting any complication graphical visualization. And so, BLIM visualization for brain MRE doesn't offer the same level of spatial localization as Gradcam and doesn't seem to generate a particular explanation in pneumonia case, which can be described as the week so for conclusion to our study we compared several visualization explanation ai technique across two distinct distinct task, uh, tasks our findings suggest that researcher and medical professional could derive significant benefits from employing gradcam to identify indicator of pneumonia and alzheimer at each stage this technique has the potential potential to provide valuable insights that when integrated with clinical assessment and other diagnosis tests can augment the overall understanding of a person condition. That's all, so thank you.